I forgot how to say good evening in Romanian. Buona sera. Buona sera. It's like Italian. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Kalispera in Greek, it's much easier for me. Um, I'm sorry that we don't speak your language because we could have a, a better relationship. <laughs> but um, this is not our language either, English. <laughs> so we will try to understand each other because I think our cultures are very similar. Greece and Romania. And, yeah, that is one of the reasons that we are very happy. I'm very happy to be with you again today and to have so many of you come out. <laughs> Because I think we are struggling with very similar patterns and similar difficulties in our cultures that perhaps Tonight we can discuss them. And also, it's, I'm, I'm also happy because we usually are so much busy that we don't work with each other. And, <laughs> so this is an opportunity for me to work with you. Uh, and that's very happy for me. Good evening for me too. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Not only because you are so many and you create this atmosphere, but also because we came here for training tomorrow and the day after to train the psychotherapists. But it is an opportunity for me to meet people, for us to meet people that they are not specialists. You are here as members of families, interested in relationships, and this is an opportunity for us to discuss with normal people, normal <laughs> families. See, we're not normal. <laughs> we're not normal. We are not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our, you remember our professor George Vasiliu used to say that a group of mad, pe mad people, it is a normal group. Crazy, crazy It's people. Not Yeah. Of crazy people. It's not a crazy group. <laughs> But a group of psychiatrists, <laughs> it's a crazy group. <laughs> And, <laughs> And <laughs> of course, we might quarrel here in front of you <laughs> because she says that we are busy. She's She's much busier than me. No, I'm not. No. <laughs> And this is one of the destabilizations that we have to deal with in our family. Okay. So, uh, we thank Alina and Daniel for inviting us here and giving us the opportunity to meet and discuss with you. And thank you for coming. Daniel, families need support even if the child is 65 like me. <laughs> So I hope that we will not just speak to you, but we have some kind of discussion. You are too many, but let's hope that some of you will raise some questions or some comments. And this is acceptable, and we like you to feel free. 
to raise your hand and say something whenever we speak. Okay? Vă vom spune lucruri, dar ne place să ne spuneți și voi, să fie o discuție, să puneți întrebări de fiecare dată când simțiți nevoia să o faceți, doar mm-hmm. ridicați mâna și ne puteți întrerupe să ne întrebați orice. Let's go closer to more of them. And now, an easy or a difficult question. Why you are here tonight? Why didn't you go out walking Friday night, afternoon? Uh, in Timisoara, or spend the time with your families. What are you looking for in this conference? Please, give us some comments or some answers to that. It will help us. Who, who would like to? to say something. I know it's very early and you don't feel comfortable, but we... Yeah. Can, 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 I, can I help a little bit, yeah, Petro? That's good. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, okay. of course. Okay. Good. good evening. Good evening. I'm here today because uh, I'm a student. Oh. Uh, I'm a student. Uh, to be a uh, university uh, psychologist mm-hmm. and because um, uh, the company, the title was very interesting for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a large family, I have a child, I have a grandchild. I'm very, very curious to see how is uh, your opinion about uh, uh, <coughs> relationship uh, um, with the child mm-hmm. and also with the grandchildren. Thank you very much. Oh. Thank you. You have to translate. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Am venit aici pentru că sunt studentă la psihologie și de asemenea am o familie, am copii și am nepot și mă interesează să știu care este părerea voastră despre copii și despre relațiile cu copii și cu nepoții. And these relationships, grandmother, grandchild, exist many, many years here. And people, they didn't go to seminars or to speeches. Why now we do need? And you are also a specialist. You are not just an ordinary people. Why do you need to discuss it with our opinion? Okay. What is the difference from past time? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, to, to hear uh, not just uh, okay. opinion uh, from the huh. teachers from the university, <laughs> but also because you and uh, your uh, partner are here, and I was very, very interested to um, to hear. Um, Okay, so the answer is that today we have the opportunity to yes. discuss that, and the, in older times this is there was not an opportunity. Yes. Yes. Okay, thank Actually, you for that. that. Yeah. Other 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 contributions? Why are you here tonight? What are you looking for? What do you expect? Why do you feel the need? And, and also you said, why is it that in the past, mm-hmm. people did not have that need? Yeah, they or don't have the opportunity, have but was they it, don't have the Was it only that they didn't have the opportunity? She, she is thinking something. Please give her. <laughs> okay. That's one way to see at it. Another? You have something to say. Yeah, you both. <laughs> okay, thank you. So I'm in formation also, and uh, I would like to, um, I don't know, to, I, I rarely saw an ideal family. So hmm. I'm thinking that we will really talk about some uh, most common uh, dysfunctional uh, Mm-hmm. Uh, problems in your family. Yeah. This is what I expect. Mm-hmm. 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 The, the really function in family and maybe what are the common problems. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I'm in formation and I'm here because I've seen a family ideal. 
caut să văd care sunt unicile și care sunt problemele comune în familie. Dacă se poate, vă spun cum ar fi asta. Ce spui? Ce spui? Ce spui? Ah, ok. You want to say something? Go ahead. Aș dori să știu și să ne spuneți, în ce scuze că mă încurcăți, care este secretul familiilor fericite? I would like to know the secret of happy family. Do you know that? I don't think. Maybe we all together find. The secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is there any other? Okay, the lady there. Yes. Do you think monogamy is a solution? Especially in this day today. I wouldn't dare to say that in Dragobete's day. Or Romania will be against me. And I'm also here, so you better not answer. Yeah, yeah. So I can't. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Let's let's express some thoughts, and you can again come back with comments or questions or whatever. Social scientists they say that the world today is changing through three major processes. Sociologists, socialists, say that the world is changing through three major processes. The first is that time goes very fast. Everything changes very, very fast. In the first place, time goes very fast and everything goes very fast. In any situation. In any situation. We enter that room at 6 o'clock in the afternoon. We enter that room at 6 o'clock in the afternoon. And lay equals one euro equals to four lay. She, we see that one leu is equal one euro is equal to four lay. And when at eight we go out, this might have changed. Și la ora 8, când ieșim în oraș, s-ar putea ca acest lucru deja s-a schimbat. So, your salary is not the same, your money in the bank is not the same. Salariul nu mai este la fel, banii pe care aveți în bancă nu mai sunt aceiași. When I enter the medical school in Athens University, când intru în Universitatea Medicală din Atena, I knew that I will find a job. Am știut că voi găsi un loc de muncă. And I would have a good income as a medical doctor. Și că voi avea un venit foarte bun ca și medic. My children, when they enter the university, când copiii mei au intrat la universitate, they don't know if they will find a job. Nu au știut dacă își vor găsi un loc de muncă. So, when I was a student, time was going slower. There are not so fast changes. Când eu eram student, timpul trecea mai încet, nu erau așa de rapide schimbările. In my children's generation, everything changed from one moment to the other. În generația copiilor mei, totul s-a schimbat și se schimbă de la un moment la altul. So the first process is that everything is changing, everything is moving very fast. Deci primul proces este faptul că totul se schimbă, totul se mișcă foarte repede. And my father and my mother, they knew what to advise me about what profession to do, which city to live, whatever. But now I cannot advise my children, my daughter, what profession to choose, or if it is better to live in Athens or in London or in Timisoara. 
Când eu eram tânăr, părinții mei mă puteau sfătui legat de viitorul meu, de ce profesie să ne aleg, în ce oraș să lucrez acum, însă eu nu pot sfătui copiii legat de aceste lucruri. The second process that changed the world al doilea proces care schimbă lumea is that whatever is happening all over the world it affects the rest of the world. Este faptul că o indiferent ce se întâmplă într-un capăt al lumii, întreaga lume este afectată. In Greece the major resource for uh, money is tourism. În Grecia, resursa cea mai importantă de a face bani, de a obține venit, este turismul. But if something happens like a terrorist act or some problems with Turkey, dar dacă se întâmplă un act terorist sau sunt probleme cu Turcia, then there is no tourism. Atunci nu mai sunt turiști. No income, the people who invested in hotels they will lose their houses. And this year, because of the Turkish problems, our tourism is going up, up to now. Mm -hmm. So now, these days, because of the communication, We are all living in an interdependent world. Pentru că suntem comunicăm datorită comunicării, trăim într-o lume interdependentă. The first like Riaki says tonight was that we are equally busy. The second lie is that her first language is Greek. No, English is her first language because she has been brought up in Canada. Prima minciună pe care Chiria Chiria a spus-o în seara asta a fost că suntem la fel de ocupați. Cea de-a doua minciună a fost că limba ei maternă este greacă, dar de fapt ea a fost crescută în Canada. You see, I'm start moving in the dragobete spirit. Încep să mă învârt în jurul spiritului de dragobete. So, when we were visiting her mother and father in Canada, atunci când îi vizităm sau când i-am vizitat pe părinții ei în Canada, în 98, we will bring to our children some presents that they are they were very rare and unknown in Greece. Am adus copiilor noștri cadouri care erau foarte rare și apreciate în Grecia. Like Game Boy, Game Boy, or whatever. Oh, I think. But Ten years later, our children will communicate with their cousins in Canada. Dar zece ani mai târziu, copiii noștri comunică cu verișorii lor din Canada. And they see all the same movie Harry Potter at the same day in Canada and Greece. Și văd tot același film Harry Potter în acel zi. Yeah. Or you see lineups for iPad, iPhone 4 between two or three days all over the world. Sau codile pentru iPhone 4 sunt aceleași în la magazine în toată lumea. So in Greece we say that we live in a planet which is a small village. În Grecia obișnim să spunem că locuim pe o planetă care este un mic sat. And the first, the third process that changed the world today, is that humans, in front of their questions, what is the mystery of happiness, or should I be monogamic or not, or what shall I study, or how am I going to spend my Friday afternoon? In Timișoara or in Athens. Pentru că oamenii au întrebările lor, cum care este secretul fericirii sau dacă ar trebui să fii un monogam sau nu sau să vin la conferință sau să mă duc să petrec seara în altă parte. They have unlimited alternatives. Și au alternative nelimitate. 
you can say we are going to have Mexican food or Romanian food or Italian food or whatever. Putem yeah? servi la masă mâncare mexicană sau italiană sau da, există o multitudine de variante. Or my child will study in a private university or in a public university. Sau copilul meu va studia într-o universitate publică sau într-una privată. Or from a distanced open university and so on and so on. Sau va studia la distanță mm-hmm. și așa mai departe. Lots, lots of alternatives. Foarte multe alternative. When I was a child in, Af- in Greece uh, and I wanted ice cream, how many choices do you think that I have? Când eram, oh. când eram copil și doream înghețată, câte alternative credeți că aveam? How many choices of ice cream? Câte arome de înghețată? Two. Două, trei? Two. Yeah, cream and chocolate outside. Vanilie, yeah. chocolate. And this was not every time that I needed or I wanted. I have to listen for the ice cream seller to come with his carriage. Yeah. Now, when you go to the supermarket or to the pastry shop, how many choices your children have? Many, 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 many. The question is, how do they fjachnun the criteria? How do they create? How do they create the criteria to choose? How do people decide in front of these alternatives? Întrebarea e acum care e, sunt criteriile în funcție de care ne facem aceste alegeri? Cum decidem care opțiune? Mm-hmm. In all times we didn't have so many alternatives. În mai de mult nu aveam așa de multe alternative. And There was a good advice by grandfather, grandmother, mother, extended family. Existau sfaturi din partea părinților, a bunicilor, a familiilor extinse. The teacher, a profesorilor, the priest, whoever was a father figure or a mother figure in the community. A oricărui mm-hmm. persoană învățată din comunitate. And because things were not changing so fast, there was experience because somebody else have tried something and I know from his experience. Mm-hmm. Uh, yesterday there was a, in, news, in Greek newspapers an announcement Yesterday there was an announcement in Greek newspapers. Într-un ziar grecesc, ieri a existat o știre. That two guys who created a startup uh, business so operation. Doi indivizi care creaseră o afacere. Which is called Taxibit. Do you know what is Taxibit? With your cell phone, you can ask for a taxi and the closest taxi driver will reply to you. Mm-hmm. That was an innovation of these two Greek guys and they sell it to Daimler company for 40 million euros. Această inovație a aparținut celor doi greci și a fost vândută companiei Daimler pentru 40 de milioane de euro. There's no experience in that. This is something that you cannot advise somebody to do. Nu există experiență în acest domeniu, nu e ceva ce poți sfătui pe cineva să facă. 
So our world is very complex. Lumea noastră este deci foarte complexă. Very fluid. Foarte fluidă. And unpredictable. Și impredictibilă. The big question is how families can prepare their children, but also how parents or adults can be skillful to deal with such a world. Mm -hmm. Where you have complexity, unpredictability, and fast changing. In timp ce avem complexitate, impredictibilitate și schimbări rapide. I will go a hundred years back. It's okay, and then. Okay. Hundred years back. I believe in Romania. You will tell us, but in Greece, in Mediterranean communities. We call the societies normative societies. Acum 100 de ani, comunitățile, numeam comunitățile din Grecia, comunități normative. Poate că și în România era la fel, ne veți spune noi. There were rules. What a husband does, what a mother does, what a child does. Existau reguli. How to behave, what is the proper behavior. And so on and so on. Existau reguli foarte precise legate de ceea ce trebuie să facă soțul sau tatăl, ceea ce trebuie să facă soția sau mama. And the goal of the family and the people was survival. Și obiectivul principal al familiei sau al oamenilor era supraviețuirea. There was the matchmaker who would decide who is going to marry with whom. Exista și o petitoare care decidea In Crete, Kyrieki, this is a new paradigm for you. There was a test that they ask old people, what was the color of the eyes of your father? In the island of Crete. In the insula Creta. In care era oameni era întrebat care este culoarea ochilor. Do you think they know? The answer was, I never looked my father at the eyes. And that was a rule that they learned from day one. They don't go to seminars to learn that. Living in the community, they know what they should do. Trăind în comunitate, învățau ce era de făcut. And they know where they will celebrate and how. Știau unde să celebreze, unde să sărbătorească ceva și cum. In traditional villages, when you enter the dance, is in the procathorismen. Pre, pre, preset. Is preset by the community. You have to wait for the elders, and then you go and enter the dance. In satele tradiționale grecești, atunci când începe dansul, există anumite reguli în funcție de care cine trebuie să danseze și în ce moment. Is not how do you feel. Nu e cum simți. You have to obey to the rule. Trebuie să te supui regulii. And if you going with the rules of the community, you are happy, you are well accepted, you are supported by the community. Și dacă accepti regulile comunității și te supui, vei fi fericit și vei fi acceptat de către comunitate. Toma, drept o să te pești. Of the fence. In Greece, they say, for that time, that the sheep out of the fence is going to be eaten by the wolf. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
But these things, these things, they don't work anymore. And the question is again, how are we going to deal with the world as members of families? There is not the community around us. And in the community, there was interdependence or dependence between the members of the community. When you want to collect your olives from your olive tree, you need the neighbor to go and collect the olives. You can't do it by yourself. I was a doctor in a village in Lesbos Island. Am fost medic în insula Lesbos. And I went to the house of a friend of the community. I, I visited the house of one friend who was a shepherd. And his wife uh, created, we call it in Greek, trahana, something like pasta, but with handmade pasta. No? No. With milk, with milk. And they have this spread on the terrace to dry. Mm. And she told me, Petros, I will go to the, to the baker, five minutes, please take care so the cats will not eat that. Uh, uh. And I was there for 10 minutes agonizing that the cats will enter and eat. <laughs> The pasta. <laughs> and I asked her, what if I was not there? And she said, I will call my neighbor. You know, far from. Uh, Maria, take care. So, this is, in Greece we say, the one hand washes the other, and both they wash the face. <laughs> this is an interdependence message. We have that in Romanian. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. 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 But uh, what is happening now that we have the nuclear family in cities, not community around it? Ce se întâmplă acum? Avem familii nucleare în orașe mari, fără comunități în jurul lor. And we parents, of course, we know some moral values that we teach our children, but we have no advice to give them how to plan their own lives. I will tell you our secret for happiness. <laughs> Vă voi spune secretul nostru pentru fericire. As a motto, and then we will come back and explain it. Okay? Ca motto și apoi voi reveni pentru a explica. Today we say that we have to deal with our life. Astăzi spunem că trebuie să ne gestionăm viața. By building relationships. Prin a construi relații where the interdependence promote our autonomy and, autonomy and our each person's autonomy come back and feeds gives growth to interdependence și propria noastră autonomie uh, face interdependența să crească. Our teacher used to say promoting autonomy through and for interdependence. Profesorii noștri obișnuiau să spună să spună promovarea autonomiei pentru creșterea pentru 
Mm? Creșterea, nu știu dacă creșterea e cel mai potrivit. Da, creșterea interdependenței, pentru dezvoltarea interdependenței. It is not dependence where we don't have autonomy. Nu e dependență în care nu avem autonomie. Not dependence. Nu dependență. It is a kind of interdependence where from I can live my autonomy and my autonomy if I am a father, if I am a son, if I am a husband will come back and make Cleoplusia uh, richer. richer our interdependence, our relationship. E o relație în care pot să-mi cresc autonomia mm -hmm. și autonomia mă va ajuta să îmi întăresc relațiile de interdependență, like, de exemplu, tată, fiu sau... I know that this is still very abstract in your minds. Cred că acest lucru este încă foarte abstract în mințile voastre. But Kiryati will start showing how this can be translated to the family relationships especially and we will try to elaborate this so it will not be just a motto not a secret but something that we can deal with Kiryaki yeah there is there is a comment on oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Dependence, then you have a relationship, right? When you have interdependence, you don't need a relationship. So how does that go? When you have interdependence, you choose a relationship. You don't need the relationship in order to survive. But you choose the relationship in order to become richer or polyphonic to have the experience of other within you so that you can decide where to go, how to go and so on. Not the community or the family telling you what to do, but through lots of mirrors around me and lots of resources around me, I can design my own self. But we will Illustrate that. Okay, but thank you for the comment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Before, before I, oh, uh, it works. Yeah. Okay. So before I, 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 I tell you uh, what um, a little bit more specifically about the relationships as they were and how they are today, I wanted to make a comment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and that is it. As I was hearing you speak, I know we've talked about this so many years, and and I know how much uh, we have worked with this model. Um, it, it sometimes seems that the way we speak about it, we are saying that in traditionally in our grandparents' lives, it was better than today. And I think it's very important that we don't say that it was better that than today. Because we have problems today does not mean that the way the things were going at that time were better than today. And on the other hand, it's not that we, when we look back and see how relationships were, that we can say that they are in a worse position than we are today. It was, it was different, and it was always related to the goal of the society. And as Petro said, the goal of the more traditional society was survival. 
relațiile din trecut și din prezent sunt mereu conectate la scopul indivizilor și al societății, iar în trecut, așa cum a spus și Petros, scopul era supraviețuirea. So, along with survival today, we are searching for something more. Așa că astăzi, în afara supraviețuirea, căutăm ceva mai mult, avem alt scop. He said happiness. Happiness, exactly, right? Fericirea. Um, so, Let's go, let's stay a little bit on the um, past. And why do we do that? Because our position is that although we live in 2017, we have very many influences inside of us, even if you're 20 years old, of past, of the past. And we are very influenced by the past, especially in our cultures. Revenim un pic la trecut, nu pentru că uh, avem nevoie de trecut pentru a înțelege cum funcționau, chiar dacă trăim în 2017 și poate că anumite lucruri nu mai sunt actuale, însă uh, anumite lucruri din trecut ne fac să înțelegem prezentul. And when we say that um, we're searching for the, 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 the secret of a happy family, it's as if today Because society has changed so much, there is, we haven't had time enough to adapt to this change. Yeah? So I, I want to, to show you a, a, a schema. I, I'm trying to go a little bit slower because I know I made it difficult for you, so I will go shorter. <laughs> um, and we, we say, we've done research on this in the Balkan area, the family, that today, although we live in this time, in 2017, we have very many voices from traditional times and from the development of society. And I will make it specific. So if we go here to time one is traditional Romania, traditional Greece, my grandparents' and great-grandparents' time. So this is the round is a woman, a man, and the two children. A man, a woman, and two children. So Pet Petro said that the the was a how how did these two these two people how did a man and a woman get together and marry? He 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 said a matchmaker, yeah. Okay. What why what what was the basis for matchmaking people in those days? Remember that survival was the goal, okay? What, was the, what were the criteria for people to come together? What were the criteria? Okay, right. The, the, the whatever was better for them to survive financially, okay? Yeah, go ahead. And that is not to be looked down upon because survival was dangerous. You had to financially be able to support yourself. So, so, so this woman and this man, if they were match made to come together, Um, did, did they know very much about each other? No. 
Ca urmare, acest bărbat și acest, această femeie nu știau foarte multe lucruri unul despre celălalt înainte de a intra într-o relație. The way they connected, the way they had their relationship, we say is relatively is is we say our parents and grandparents had a relationship like this, okay? Modul în care relaționau era foarte similar cu această statuie pe care vă arată. Because because in order to survive, I had to take care of the children. I had to be the queen of the house, okay? And do the house. And what, what did you do? I have to deal with the market, with uh, uh, work, the public a, yeah, sector. And be what? Mm -hmm. and, be good and be strong. And be strong. Mm -hmm. and, and, he, and he provides for the family. Yes. He is the good provider, yeah? So basically, my husband and I have a back-to-back -back relationship, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And don't go away. And I will live today, not in yeah, but just stay there. Years. Huh. Yeah, and so the safety. Because all relationships need safety then and today. So where was the safety? The safety was here. Okay. Yeah. I could I could lean on him. He had my back, and he could lean on me. And through our through, through our roles, roles, we slowly developed love and slowly developed connection. Devotion. And we were very devoted to the common goal of the survival of our family. Is, is, that, is that something familiar to you? Okay, if you think of your grandparents, your parents, yeah? Okay, so... In those times, if if the man and the wife had a back-to-back um, -back relationship, okay, um, what didn't they see about each other? They didn't see the 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 personality, the face, right? They connected they connected through the role, we said. Yeah. And they had to be very patient. Patience is a very big value. Patience, right? Don't make, don't make conflict in the marriage. No conflict in the marriage. Patience, yes? So Petros is right. I wasn't lying. But I, I did grow up in, in Canada. But even my Cretan grandmother in Canada told me, when you marry... The husband should know you from the waist down. Do you have that saying? Okay. So the husband in this... Sorry. So if yeah. So in the here, here, I, 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 he, my husband should know me from the waist down. So he knows me sexually. He knows me because we want to make children, right? He knows me because we have a back-to-back -back relationship, and we support each other. But what doesn't he have? Oh, sorry. I get very excited. But what doesn't he know if he knows me from the waist down? 
He doesn't know how I feel, my heart, and he doesn't know what I'm thinking, right? Okay. So, um, then I, it's very, very common and very, very natural then that I don't have very many skills in talking about my emotions, yeah? Așa că nu e de obișnuință, nu am foarte multe deprinderi și foarte multe obișnuințe de a comunica. And I don't have very many skills in expressing how I really think to my husband. Și nici yeah? deprinderi de a comunica ceea ce gândesc cu adevărat către soțul meu. Are, are you following me? Okay? Right. Because if I did, then that would cause conflict in the marriage and then survival we would die. Okay. Pentru că dacă nu aș comunica gândurile și emoțiile, aș crea conflict în familie, scopul ar fi pus în pericol, supraviețuirea ar, ar fi pus în pericol și familia probabil că s-ar destrăma. So, if the woman in, if I had a problem in the traditional society, I would not go a personal, you know? Oh, I, I'm get, I feel I'm getting old, I'm afraid, I'm afraid of, 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 this and that, or if I have a problem, if I have a complaint about my husband, he came home and he was a bit drunk from the coffee shop, what, what, what would I do? Deci dacă aș avea o problemă în relație, dacă m-aș gândi că îmbătrânesc sau aș avea anumite griji sau dacă aș avea o problemă legată de soțul meu, că am venit băut în seară, ce aș face? Would I go and tell him? I-aș spune? No, because... <gasps> Waist down, right? Yeah? So? So then how would he know about what I'm thinking or what he wouldn't know? No. But if I had a if I had a complaint about him, he would never know. How would he know? that I was very, very angry that he came home from and had too much uzo. You burned his food. I burned his food. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Burn his food. Yeah, I do something yeah, about him. <laughs> okay, I do something like like yeah, this way. Good. Yeah, okay. What What else? What else did they do in those times? <laughs> Whom do they complain to? Huh? Where would where would this woman go? She would go to other women. Okay. She would go to the neighborhood. She would talk about her problems. And and what would the other, what would the what would the neighbor what would the women say to her? My husband is the same. Yeah. Men are like all, all men are like that. Yeah. Be patient. Yeah. He's a good man because he allowed you to have his mother, your mother with him six months and he didn't say anything. So then the woman would go to the other women and then when she came home, how would she feel? About her, her anger and her problem. She would feel better. Of course she would feel better. Yeah? So, how, how, but by telling the woman here, this woman would tell her husband and about your friend came home very drunk last night and Maria is very angry at him. Okay? She, vecina, celelalte femei, ar spune soților, Maria e foarte... And then that man would tell his friend at the coffee shop and the, the man would go home early and he wouldn't drink for a while. So the problem, so the problem would be solved. We don't like that, do we? We don't like that way. Yeah? Because in this, but look, they had a very good communication network. Yeah? But we don't want that today, right? Okay. Not working. Because it doesn't work. 
But what we can see today is that voices from this time period and then from industrialization, which we don't have very much time to go in detail with that, but then another period of time, individualism in, in the society's development, the importance of the individual and my rights and my boundaries, eh? Or so we have voices from all these times. And inside of me, when I have a problem with my husband and I deeply love him, but sometimes we have problems, I have these inner messages inside of my head that make it difficult for me to relate to him. Avem voci din următoarea perioadă a industrializării și din următoarea a individualismului în care învățăm despre propriile noastre drepturi și despre cum să ni le apărăm. Toate aceste voci le avem mereu cu noi și ies la ivială atunci când avem conflicte. Eu și soțul meu ne iubim, însă asta nu înseamnă că nu avem conflicte și că nu aducem vocile din trecut în prezent. There is a turmoil of inner voices in my heart and brain. Every time I try to relate to him when I think some, something is difficult. I, I say to myself, if I speak, oh, something will happen. We will, we will go bad. Îmi spun câteodată, dacă vorbesc, o, ceva se va întâmpla, ne va fi rău. From my grandmother, period. Din o perioadă bunicii mele. If I, speak, if, I, if, I, if I speak my voice from the individualistic period, I say, it's my right to be angry at him. He has to do something about it. I'm not going to be the only one working this relationship. I'm just going to do my thing. Dacă dau curs vocii mele din perioada individualiste, voi spune, e dreptul meu să spun ce mă doare, e dreptul meu să apăr al, ale mele, cumva, și dacă el nu e dispus să facă ce e nevoie să funcționeze relația, eu nu sunt datoare să fac. So that means that I'm in a great conflict inside of me, and I don't know how to talk with him. I do not, as I said before, have the, the skills necessary to keep this relationship going. E un conflict interior mereu în mintea mea, între vocile mele, și nu am abilitățile necesare de a stria din ele și de a găsi varianta potrivită. And one of the main things that makes relating in today's ever-changing world difficult și una din, unul dintre principalele lucruri care fac relaționarea în prezent foarte dificilă is the lack of skills in sharing emotions with the other. E lipsa mm -hmm. abilităților de a împărtăși emoțiile cu, cel, cu ceilalți. Um, in our work with couples today, we see that distressed couples în munca noastră cu cupluri, vedem că cuplurile disfuncționale are not crazy. Nu sunt nebune. I am not crazy. Nici eu nu sunt nebună. When I cannot relate to him. Când nu pot relaționa cu el. I am not uh, developmentally um, impaired. <laughs> nu am tulburări de dezvoltare. Yeah. I am just very very much trapped in my inner voices sunt doar foarte prinsă în propriul me, propriile mele voci interioare that have not allowed me to develop the skill of speaking from my primary emotions care nu m-au lăsat să vorbesc despre emoțiile mele primare what are the primary emotions fear care sunt emoțiile Primare, sadness, seama, tristete, loneliness, 
singurătate. I am afraid when you don't pay attention to me that I am losing you and you mean so much to me. Mi-e teamă când nu mă bagi în seamă, când nu-mi dai atenție, am impresia că te pierd și tu însemni așa de mult pentru mine. I don't say that because I'm afraid of expressing fear. Nu spun asta pentru că mi-e teamă să exprim teamă. Um, or a man may I feel so inadequate and I feel so sad when I try to connect with you. Sau ar putea spune, it's just not enough for you. Mă simt uh, așa de inadecvat uh, că nu pot să interacționez cu tine, că nu sunt suficient pentru tine. We don't we're not a, we haven't been trained to say that to disclose those feelings. Those, those are more vulnerable feelings and we have been socialized through this period of development in not being afraid, in not being sad. Okay? Pentru că am fost antrenați să nu fim vulnerabili, să nu ne fie teamă, să nu ne arătăm singurătatea și teama și ceea ce simțim. A little girl will come home from school and say, oh, I'm really, really, really lonely or I'm really, really sad because the other little girls did this and this and this. And the mother will say, oh, no, 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 don't be sad. You don't, you don't need to be sad. Okay? Or a little boy will come home and say, I'm afraid. And what will the mother or father say? No, boys aren't afraid. Boys don't cry. Okay? O fetiță ar putea să vină de la școală, să spună, mă simt foarte singură, pentru că, uite, fetele de la școală au făcut asta sau cealaltă. Și atunci mama mai poate spune, a, nu e nevoie să, fii, să te simți singură pentru asta. La fel, un băiat ar putea spune, mi este frică, dintr-un motiv sau altul, și părintele îi spune, a, tu băiat, nu ți poate fi frică, nu are voie să-ți fie frică. And what we, have, what we usually do is instead of, of expressing our primary emotions that will bring us together. Și ceea ce facem de fapt este în loc să ne exprimăm emoțiile primare care ne aduc la oaltă. We usually express what? What we call secondary emotions, reactive emotions, which the most largest and the most encompassing secondary emotion is what? Anger. <laughs> Însă ne exprimăm emoțiile secundare, cele reactive, care uh, îmbracă toate celelalte emoții primare și dintre ele cea mai obișnuită este furia. So, in this society, this is what was going on with the man and the woman. În societatea tradițională, așa erau relațiile între bărbat și femeie back to back relationship but today in this ever changing world this is what we need to do dar astăzi în această lume schimbare asta este ceea, ceea ce avem nevoie să facem these two paintings are done by a, a famous Bel- uh, serbian artist um, and when we need to turn around and do this and we need to see really take all of our clothes off <laughs> and to be ourselves we don't know how to do that yet. Aceste tablouri au fost pictate, au fost realizate de un artist sârb, iar când ne întoarcem și trebuie să ne privim față în față, ne este greu să facem asta. And when we don't know how to do that and we lose our relationship, what happens what we have seen as psychotherapists happening is that our children come into the picture and bring out the problem. Și când ne este greu să ne apropiem și să ne privim unul pe celălalt, ceea ce am văzut că se întâmplă în terapie este că copiii familiilor vin și scot la iveală problema. And through creating problems, little children become the parents of the parents because they take care of them and they help them come together to work on the problem of the child. Prin relevarea problemelor, copiii ajung să fie practic părinții părinților lor, ajutându-i să și rezolve problemele. So, just to go, yeah, just to go back here, then what we I would say we need to do today and maybe 
is that we develop these new skills to be able to relate on an emotional level with our partner, um, and then that will serve what you said as interdependence, autonomy through and for interdependence. Because we're trying to do this, which is to have a very clear identity of the man and the woman, but at the same time, a very big value on their relationship, on their connection. And at the same time, we want each of them to serve their autonomy, to become who they want in their lives, their dream, and the woman the same, to belong to other groups, but to construct together the we of the relationship, to be safe, to create safety and interdependence. And that can be learned. That is what we see as the goal of training and psychotherapy. And I said too much, and you're not going to be able to translate it. I'm sorry. It's necessary to do this in present moment to develop the abilities to relax, to connect with one another, is to stimulate the autonomy, to stimulate the in such a way as to stimulate the relationships să ne satisfacă, să, să ne fie pe măsura așteptărilor noastre și în același timp să putem să facem simultan parte și din alte grupuri, din alte cercuri sociale, profesionale. Și în acest fel stimulăm, ne stimulăm autonomia, rămânând într-o relație sau căutând relații de interdependență pe care să ne potențăm reciproc. So, what about children? What about children? Yeah. I just said something about children. Yeah, you said something. But how do about we the relationship as parents okay. towards them? Okay. Um, I'll give you a personal example. You don't even know this. Okay. <laughs> Let's hope it's not a lie. <laughs> Last night, um, I didn't go to bed at all because. I had to give this um, article that I was writing for a journal. And so I, I, I didn't go to sleep. I stayed up. And I was, I was working on this, writing this article, writing this article, and all of a sudden, our younger daughter phones. Who is presently studying in London. She's doing... Um, Uh, her PhD in neuroscience. And she's very close to us, but she doesn't talk to us very often. I mean, she doesn't talk about her inside life very often. And the first, the first thing I said to myself, oh my God, not now. Yeah, I mean, how am I going to serve my autonomy when this, when she's bothering me? I want now to do my article, right? But fortunately, then I went back to my inner voices, very, and I said, "But this is what I want. This is what I want. I want to be with her. I want to be with her when she needs me." Din fericire, am realizat vocile mele interioare și mi-am spus, dar asta este ceea ce îmi doresc. Îmi doresc să fiu alături de ea atunci când ea are nevoie de mine. So, in today's world, where we have so many other obligations, it's many times difficult to focus on the relationship with the child when he or she needs me, not when I have the time or want to connect. Dar ce este dificil în epoca noastră de făcut este să mă focusez ca părinte pe relația cu copilul meu atunci când el sau ea are nevoie de mine, nu atunci când eu pot să o fac, sunt disponibil să o fac. So, so when I made that change inside of me, she started talking to me and she talked to me about this relationship that she has developed with a young man. 
și atunci când am, aseară, când am fost disponibilă pentru ea, mi-am părtășit micul timp, mi-a spus despre relația pe care o are acum cu un băiat. And, and she was so, she, she had very, very many, um, she had a lot of happiness because she, she likes this young man. He is head over heels about her. Avea multă fericire vorbind despre acest băiat. El este foarte îndrăgostit de ea. But she is very, very also afraid of the differences that they have. You know, London does not have Greek boys. <laughs> Dar it has este teamă de very few Greek boys. So she was talking to me about her, her happiness and her fear, and then she started talking about how she's thinking. And it was one of the times that I felt I was a good mother because I succeeded in doing something which I couldn't do when my children were older. She, am simțit, younger, when my am children simțit, were younger. Uh, am simțit că sunt o mamă bună, ceea ce nu am simțit prea des când copiii mei erau mai mici. I listened. Am ascultat. I didn't try to give her solutions because I cannot give her solutions in today's world. Nu am încercat să I, dau soluții. I, I just listened. Nu îi pot da soluții în lumea de astăzi, it, doar am ascultat. And every time she would say something and that would be putting herself down, I would validate how, what a, a good person she is in understanding her feelings, and she'll work it out. Și de fiecare dată când îi scădea tonusul și spunea ceva trist, încercam să o validez, să-i spun cât de în contact cu propriile ei gânduri și emoții este și care resursele să rezolve. So basically about children, I think the most important thing is to just be there and listen and grow, grow up with them, <laughs> not them growing up. <laughs> and that's pretty scary. But it's, but it's very rewarding. Daniel, I will not be able to do the training tomorrow. I have to go to London <laughs> to check what's happening. <laughs> to control the situation. <laughs> okay. This is called the conspiracy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> I will give you a metaphor for growing children. Uh, they say that there are people who are builders. They build something, houses or whatever. Mm -hmm. but, but when you build, you plan, You decide, you plan, and you impose the solution. But the result is not something which is a living system. And there are the gardeners. The other hand, the other way. Mm -hmm. The gardener has to deal with nature, with changing climate, with dangers. Grasshoppers, whatever. And you can support the garden but you cannot really plan it. You cannot decide exactly when there will be flourishing one plant or the other one. The fruit or the branches cannot and, go the way. And 
how big the fruits will be Și and so on. Vor fi you have to live to live with unpredictability. Să cu and you have to respect time process. Și mm-hmm. să respect timpul, procesul care are, se derulează în timp. But what you create or what you support to be alive to dar ceea ce creezi, ceea ce sprijin să prindă viață is a living system. Este un sistem viu. We as parents, we have to be gardeners, not builders. Noi părinții trebuie să fim grădinari, nu constructori. At the beginning, we guide our children. La început ne ghidăm copiii. Sometimes I say that as I grow up as a father, I have to be a little bit deaf, a little bit blind. Uneori spun că pe măsură ce îmbătrânesc și ca tată trebuie să fiu un pic orb, un pic sur. And a little bit mute. Yeah. Și un pic mut. A little bit in my world. Un pic în lumea mea. And when I am invited, I have to have the skill to be present. Iar atunci când sunt invitat, trebuie să am abilitatea de a fi prezent. So we have to become gardeners and this is sometimes difficult. Deci trebuie să devenim grădinari și acest lucru este câteodată dificil. But it is also very 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 enriching. Dar este deopotrivă ne îmbogățește. And We learn and we grow by being gardeners. Creștem. We don't grow our children. We grow with our children. Învățăm și creștem împreună cu copiii noștri. Nu ne creștem copiii, ci creștem împreună cu ei. So, as you saw, we are not the perfect parents or the perfect family. Așa că nu suntem părinții perfecti sau familia perfectă. We are all improv- improvising in this era. Noi toți improvizăm în această zonă. And what we suggest to you is to enjoy being parents and gardeners. Ceea ce vă sugerăm este să vă simțiți bine fiind părinți și grădinari. And be open to learn from your children. Și să fiți deschiși Thank la învățat de la copiii voștri. Mulțumesc! Thank you. From my professional and personal experience, there are two things that help. Din experiența mea personală și profesională, există două lucruri care ajută. First of all, for me to accept, but to really accept it in, in my whole, whole human being self. <laughs> to, no, to accept what I'm going to say, okay. but în really rând, to accept în, it. În primul rând, este nevoie să accept that I am a, a person that needs relationship. <laughs> so, um, and to accept that I need my husband <laughs> and to secondly really believe <laughs> that anger is secondary. And every time, every time I get angry to search for what I really feel. <laughs> that basically means that I have to develop an inner dialogue. I have, I have to talk to myself. Okay. And that's very difficult because, as I told you before, traditionally, I would talk to other women. 
Și acest lucru este foarte dificil, pentru că, așa cum am spus mai devreme, în mod tradițional, eu vorbesc cu alte femei, nu cu mine. And I would have an inner dialogue with my neighbor. Și am un dialog interior cu vocea vecinei. And, and now I have to have an inner dialogue with myself. Și acum e nevoie să am un dialog interior cu mine, cu propria mea persoană, cu propria mea voce. And so if I believe that I need a relationship, that I do not want to be an individual Dacă only, cred cu tărie că vreau relația și că am it, nevoie de ea și nu vreau să fiu un individ solitar, that it's not a weakness to need him, Mm-hmm. Nu e o slăbiciune să ai nevoie de cineva. And I believe if I believe that when I lose the connection with him, I have these deep emotions of fear, of sadness, of loneliness, then I can look for them under my anger. Dacă știu că în absența lui pot să am aceste emoții de teamă, tristețe, solitudine, pot să le caut sub Thank you. But of course, if you do have a relationship based on these principles, then violence it doesn't come up. <laughs> so, so it, I guess it would foster that kind of non-violent communication. We say that the purpose of human beings is uh, to actualize themselves. In another level, you can say that they want a quality of life. Hmm? Psychologists and social scientists, and maybe systemic approach, which we work with, they would say to have a meaning in their yeah, life. Yeah. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. and let me explain that. I have to decide what is the meaning of being a father for me today or what is the meaning of being a husband for me today it's not uh, it's not taken for granted it's not for granted taken for granted if I was to give a clinical example for that, uh, lots of families come and see us because their children, they are not very good students, they don't read their schoolwork or they, are, uh, they do not obey. Pentru a da un exemplu din zona clinică, multe familii vin și se plâng despre copiii lor că nu își realizează temele, că nu merg la școală, că nu se nu, nu ascultă. And then the parents start pressing the children to do the right thing, to read, to behave, whatever. Părinții își obligă copiii să se poarte cum este bine, să because this is how they will succeed in life. But as we said earlier, first of all, this is not sure. 
that this is the way you succeed in life. Dar cum am spus mai devreme, nu e sigur că acesta e modul. Yeah. 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 And I have to decide as a father what is the meaning of being a father. To behave the child and go sleep well or to live with unpredictability. Not doing nothing, but trying to build a relationship, to create a relationship through which I will be useful as a resource as with my experience, trust in him. She said that I trust our daughter in London, that if I have the room to embrace her joy and uh, trust her that she will see what is this relationship, is a good one for her and so on, she will find out. So now, of course, she's an old, Uh, girl, we have to escort her. Eh? We do not decide for her. We do not uh, guide her. So all the time we have to. Oh, all the time we have to look for the meaning mm -hmm. of the role. There are not. There is not a description nowadays of the role that the father does this, the mother does this, and the children do that. Eh? <laughs> Într-o situație, cum a fost cele exemplificate mai devreme, am de ales în a-l obliga, a obliga copilul să se poarte bine și am apucat liniștit, sau a îndura, a gestiona cumva impredictibilitatea, a nu face nimic, însă a construi, a nu face nimic pentru a-l corecta pe el, însă a investi în a construi o relație cu el, în așa fel încât să fiu o resursă pentru el ori de câte ori are nevoie. And this, is some, and this is something that I have to do for myself, to live my fatherhood, not for my daughter. This is something that I am missing when I don't do that. Pentru a reveni la exemplul personal pe care le duse, nu e nevoie să meargă la Londra să își verifice să verifice, nu știu, potențialul partener al fetei lui, ci trebuie să realizeze că are încredere în ea, că ea este suficient de mare și că are încredere în ea că a făcut alegerile potrivite și să o susțină dacă ea are nevoie și să accepte asta și mai mult să accepte că în felul acesta are mai mult de câștigat pentru că se poate bucura mai bine de relația cu fata lui. So father is not a role to serve, is a living to live. And I have to find the meaning of that part of me, that, that expression, that aspect of my life, that I am a father. And this is a kind of an adventure, and we should not cut off the adventure of their lives in order to be safe and sleep well. We have to accept unpredictability and instability sometimes. Rolul de tată nu este ceva ce pot să iau acum de-a gata, este ceva ce trebuie să construiesc, să accept indictația cu care am de-a face. Just uh, in addition to what Petro said, because I found that question very interesting. I haven't thought about it that way. Um, I think maybe that in, in the world as we're describing it, as Petro's described it before, when there is a lot of, of change and unpredictability, Într-o lume impredictibilă în care există foarte multe schimbări, așa cum a descris-o Petros mai devreme, uh, I think what the family's role is, is to provide a safe haven for children. Cred că rolul familiei este de a oferi un adăpost sigur copiilor. Where they can feel accepted. În care ei să se simtă acceptat. Where they can, it's sort of like a laboratory the family of developing self-worth, of being able to feel good about themselves. And 
to 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 learn how to love life. <laughs> because if you learn how to love life, you won't go to narcotics or you won't go into you want life. So Today, today, in this very threatening, changing world, the family needs to be a place where the child can experiment and feel safe. Thank you very much for inviting us and being with you. It was a pleasure. <laughs> And thank you very much, <laughs> our wonderful Wana translating. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.